Welcome everyone to Talon Estonia Day 3 coverage of the ISU 2020 Junior World Figure Skating Championships. I'm your host Ted Barton. Final day of comp competition exhibition tomorrow afternoon. As we look outside the facility, free dance coming up in just a few moments. Of course, Tallinn, a beautiful city, just around 435,000 people live here on the shore of the Gulf of Finland, of the Baltic Sea. Well, yesterday, in the rhythm dance, Avonlea Nguyen and Vadim Kolsnik of the United States Great program to Aladdin. The competition in junior dance so close and so tight. And this team we were medalists last year at the World Junior Championships. In fact, they were fourth last year. First in juniors in the United States this season. They certainly won a number of Junior Grand Prix events. My tears are falling Cause you've taken her away uh, Kazakova and Revia from Georgia. Second after the rhythm dance. Sixth last year in the World Junior Championships, 14th at the European Championships this season. Of course, they won the Junior Grand Prix final in Torino in December. And here, the leaders after the rhythm dance, Elisabetta Shenaneva and David Narajani. They were third in the Junior Grand Prix final. So there's been a bit of a mix up or a changing of positions in this event. But we have the free dance coming up in just a little while. So these rankings could easily change so close. You have to skate clean. You can't have any major mistakes be too costly and the basic skating skills of all three of these teams just at an extraordinary level for juniors all three will make a relatively easy transition into the senior category over the next year so there's a look at the starting order for this event and welcome to the icu world junior figure skating championships 2020 this is an event of the International Skating Union and hosted by Estonian Skating Union. We have 20 teams. There'll be four groups. Start the ice dance free dance. Ice resurfacing after group number two. Me noudame teile, et välguga pildistamine ja filmimine on keelatud. Kingitused ja lilled, mis on mõeldud sportlastele peale esinemist andmiseks. We remind you that flash photography as well as video recording is forbidden. 
gifts and flowers offered to the skaters at the end of their performance must be completely wrapped. And we thank you very much for your cooperation. Well, if you don't want to be on the big screen in the arena, don't sit down early. And now, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure to introduce I'll step aside the for we get introduced event. to the officials for this event. the International Skating Union at the ISO World Junior Figure Skating Championships 2020. Please welcome the ICU representative, Maria Lundmark. Also representing the ICU, please welcome the referee of the event, Hilary Selby. The panel of judges. Judge number one, Laimute Krauzine. Judge number two, Tommy Fukudome. <laughs> Judge number three, John Milia. <laughs> Judge number four, Maria Gribanosova Grebnieva. <laughs> Judge number five, Ron Conaher. Judge number six, Mark Storton. <laughs> Judge number seven, Yekaterina Zabolotnaya. <laughs> Judge number eight, Larisa Shulyatova. <laughs> Judge number nine, Ronald Boo. The technical panel, the technical controller, Sean Redstep. The technical specialist, Rock LeMay. And the assistant technical specialist, Marie-Louise Heitenbeek. The following competitors may now take the ice for their warm-up. From Hungary, Villo Marton, Daniel Semko. From Czech Republic, oh, look at Natalie Group 1 Tashlerov stepping onto the ice, their skating order of competition. From Italy, Carolina Portesi Peroni, Michael Krastecki. From Cyprus, Angelina Kudrevceva, Ilya Korankevic. From Spain, Sofia Val, Linus Colmar Hepsen. Well, the discipline of ice dance, uh, both in senior and junior, improving every year out. Just the basic skating skills of the teams, much stronger, and provides a good foundation for some really creative lifts and, and spins, great step sequences, and overall, Better performance with the music. A lot of fun to watch. So entertaining. But there's so much detail in this discipline in this discipline. Not easy. Just for the non-judge to say, oh that this is the best team based on the rules. Very difficult. Well, you can touch base with us here 
on the broadcast at hashtag world j figure that's hashtag world j figure would love to know what your thoughts are on the junior worlds the quality of the skating what you expect of the world championships in montreal coming up in two weeks who your favorites will be for that event let us know where you're watching from and any questions you may have and one question we had yesterday is all the famous skaters through time who would you most like to have dinner with if you could what would your conversation be about? Okay, what would you eat? Once again, hashtag World J Figure. Thank you for all the viewers around the world tuning in, following this beautiful sport. And what's most interesting is the viewership from non-skating countries, most of those not, uh countries do not have an ice rink but have come across our sport online and been fascinated and fallen in love with it and that's one of the reasons we're doing this of course and providing also the service to the skating nations that have a great fan base Couples, there is one minute left in this warm-up. Well, one minute left for this warm-up. When we broadcast live streaming of competitions like this one, try to give information about skating that is of interest to many of our viewers around the world. Through your feedback, we know that it's widespread interest in all aspects of figure skating. Looking through the many comments and emails that are sent, there's one theme that stands out above all and the wish to learn as much as possible about the sport. The ICU has recently launched a new platform on the website for e-learning. The website includes a wealth of online training and development modules for coaches, skaters, parents, judges, referees, and the general public. The goal is to provide new and improved education opportunities for everyone involved in ISU sports. Figure skating is a beautiful yet very complex sport that is constantly evolving, and the ISU e-learning site will help you to keep all those involved up to date with the latest trends, techniques, and rules. Couples, your warm up. So join the e-learning site days. on isu.org. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Hungary, Vilo Marton Daniel Semko. Well, Vilo 19, Danielle 19. She's from Budapest, he from Odessa, Ukraine. And coached by Svetlana Liapina, 17th after the rhythm dance. 81.62 personal best uh, week one on the Junior Grand Prix this season. And they'll start the free dance competition here in Tallinn.
Well, really nice job here for Vilo and Danielle. You can see they're happy with that performance, and I've watched them through this season. Boy, this was the best performance. Of course, that's what time will do. It'll give you the comfort and confidence that you need to perform your best. Vilo Martin, the most important Daniel competition Simcoe of the season. <laughs> much improved skating skills. They were much more together as a team. And you can see just in their body language, they're really happy with that performance. All eight elements, positive GOE, pretty close to one point. So the quality of their elements improved, quality of their basic skating and unity through the program improved. And that was the mission that's been accomplished. No matter where they end up, no matter what the score is, they finished the season on a high. Nice and tight. Good transitions between the elements. You can just see in the Kiss and Cry, they're really thrilled with that performance. It felt comfortable, together, well trained. Much improved. Good way to end the season. The scores, please. Villo Marton, Daniel Simko, Ungari, Said Vabadansos, Seitigman Seitigman, seventy seven point four six for the free dance. They seem pretty happy with that with a total competition score of 130.49. First team out in the free dance. Next to skate representing Czech Republic, Natalie Tashlerova. Uh, Natalie 18, Philip 20, both from Bruno, coached and choreographed by Matteo Zani. 91.77, personal best, earning that at the European Championships in Graz.
Natalie Tashlerova, Filip Tashler from Czech Republic. Well, I thought they skated with such strength and aggressiveness throughout that whole program. Interesting at the end, they didn't really show a reaction. Not sure how they felt about it. Look, there's lots of room for improvement here. What's the difference between all of these teams? Because when you look at a program like that, you say, hey, that was really good. There was no major mistakes. They're just small little details that are the difference between teams. It's a pointed toe, a stretch, free leg, a, a hand grab, a little closer in skating, little quality edges, maybe a bit more deep, things like that. But to the human eye, to the naked eye, that was a good program. It skated really well for them. Here's a look at the stationary lift level four with a plus 0.72 right off the top of the program. Here's the Twizzles. He missed the blade. There's the problem right off there. A level three for Natalie and a level two for Philip. So made a couple of mistakes on those. Didn't get the four and four. Here's the one foot section. I'm going to look into their midline steps. Pretty quick reviews here. So kind of hard to comment on them. combination spin at the end of the program in at level four with a plus 0.72 good pick up on that rotational lift also level four plus 0.79 they were aggressive they weren't holding back they weren't cautious they were pushing it out it's trying to accelerate on every step so from that perspective that's good they push the limits Another year of polishing, of detail, of every step, of every stretch, every position. We'll take it that much higher in overall quality. The scores, please. Well, 81.78 for the free dance for Natalie and Philip. That's first. Two teams out so far. 18 to come. With a total competition score of 134.58. And that puts them for the moment in first place. On the ice, representing Italy, Carolina Bartesi Peroni, Michael. Carolina, 18 years old. Michael is 20. The coach choreographed by Barbara Fusapoli, 83.85.77, the personal best in the free dance. Skating to music by Andre Bricelli.
Carolina Bortesi Peroni, Michael Krastecki from Italy. Well, again, they seem pretty happy with that performance. And at this stage of the season, it, the end, and that's what's most important, the learning at this stage of their development is what it is and where it is. Now, shortly after this competition, they'll get back and start the journey on the next season and the next level of development. Let's take a look at some of the elements in the free dance. The one foot section is a level two for Carolina, level two for Michael. Right off the top of the program, there's a look at their spin, that's level four, the plus 0.89. So a lot of points earned on that element. And here's a look at the twizzles. Level three for Carolina, level four for Michael. And bought with a minus 0.93, so had some challenges on the right there. Loss of balance. A little jump into the rotational lift at level four. Really, you don't see too many lifts not level four at this level. Look at that step right up under the thigh. Boy, not easy. You miss that step and could be trouble right up into the end of the program. Lots of life and spice with the Italians, always. A lot of fun to watch them and their coaches and they're waiting for the scores. And they kiss and cry. 78.63 for Carolina and Michael. That's second in the free dance. Not of approval by Barbara Fusapoli. Total competition score for the World Junior Championship. 133.05 and that'll put them for the moment into second place. Next to skate, representing Cyprus, Angelina Well, representing Cyprus, Angelina 14, Ilya 16, both born in Russia, also trained there, coached by Alexei Sitnikov. 79.87 personal best. And skating to, to music from Raphael Bull.
Wow. Now that was fun. And they're happy with the performance. Let's talk about something. You're going to go out on a limb a little bit here. Well, despite technically what they do, I can see Angelina all the scores, of course. This team is unique. They have their own style. They're musical. They're innovative. Their own brand type. They're interesting to watch. Now, let's talk about the technique and about the detail of where they are as ice dancers, as athletes right at this moment. That's left up to the technical panel and the judges. But from an overall performance perspective, they're good skaters. They have unique elements, entrances and exits of those elements. Sure, more speed, more depth of edge. They're young, just 16 and 14. So to be so innovative at this stage of their development and as they get stronger and as they grow in maturity, I think we're going to see this team in the future. There's a little smile on her part. Break new ground in ice dance. I don't know how. I don't know when. But something tells me this is a bit different. Out of the norm. Fun to watch. To look at the twizzles. And they had a four and a three. Here's a sort of a unique spinning move across the ice. Boy, not easy and very risky. But they don't mind pushing the barriers. They don't want to be the same. And he handles her so effortlessly and lifts. They have similar skating skills at this point, which are all pretty good. Here's a pull through, up into the catch. Right in the rotational lift, onto the shoulders. That's a lot of stuff happening in a very short period of time on that rotational lift, level four with a plus GOE. It's sort of a unique choreographic lift right at the end of the program. Now we're going to see this team for quite a while, I believe. Hope I'm right. First team out of Cyprus. They do train in Russia. They're born in Russia. Doesn't matter where they come from, they're good. They're fun to watch. 75.01, that's fourth in the free dance. Probably have not met all the rules and done things to the certain standards, but they sure were fun to watch. That will improve in time. 127.97, and that puts Angelina and Neil Yek currently in the fourth place. As they improve the technical details, they'll simply continue to get better and stronger. 14 years, 16 years old, lots of time. Next to skate, representing Spain, Sofia Val, Linus Kolmoryevsen. Sofia, 15, Linus, 18. She was born in Madrid, he from Denmark, coached by Olivia Schoenfelder. 73.53, personal best in the free dance. And they're skating to music of Bruno Mars. <laughs>
Well, what a fun program that was. Sofia oh, the season's best. From Spain. The season's best, 73.53. They should top that here at Junior Worlds. Gaining experience, getting better. Wow. So much depends on the spring for these teams to pick the music, their themes, and then work hard to capture the vision and deliver at the end of the season, like now, at the World Championships. What a great job by this team. There's Olivia Schoenfelder, the coach, of course, great ice dancer himself. Certainly more maturity in this performance. Nina's 18, Sophia 15. Seem to love this music, understand it, and do it as much for themselves as they do it for the judges and the audience. Wow, what a unique entrance into a spin. Not easy, both in such a low position. Great pickup, so smooth and so easy on that straight line lift in at level four with a plus geo, we have a point eight five. So, so good points earned on that. Another interesting and unique entrance to the rotational lift at four. Well, speed and depth of edge will improve over time as this team continues to explore their possibilities, which seem to be very bright. Let's take a look at the scores for Sofia and Linus. Season's best, 79.43, so they're happy with that, and that puts them second in the free dance so far. Total competition score, 130.61, and that puts them overall into third place for the moment. And there's a look at your top five teams so far. The following couples may now take the ice for their warm-up. From Great Britain, Emily Rose Brown, James Hernandez. From the United States of America, Ona Brown, Gage Brown. From France, Lou Terron, Nui Perron. From Japan, Utana Yoshida, Shingo Nishiyama. From Ukraine, Maria Golubtsova, Kirill Bilobrov.
couples, there is one minute left in this warm up. Oh, British fans, friends and family. Couples, your warm-up has ended. Please leave and here the we ice. go, group two of the free dance final here at the 2020 World Junior Figure Skating Championships. I'm your host, Ted Barton. Final day of competition. We will be on the air tomorrow to cover the exhibition, of course. Free dance now, followed by the ladies' free program. A great day of skating here in Tallinn. Dami de Herrat, Yale Tulevat. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Great Britain, Emily Rose Brown, James Hernandez. Well, Emily Rose. 18 years old. James is also 18. They're coached by James Young. 12th after the rhythm, uh, rhythm dance. 77.04 personal best on the Junior Grand Prix this season for the free dance. Skating here at Junior Worlds to one of my favorite musicals. Les Miserables.
was so difficult to not get inspired with music like that. What a solid program. Great GOEs. Emily so Rose good quality recognized. From Great, Britain. great quality recognized by the judging panel. You can clearly see the power and ice coverage and speed throughout the program. Step up a little bit from the first group. Their season's best, 77.04. They should beat that by quite a bit, I would think. What a nice job. And here's a look at some of the elements in that free dance. Right off the top, the combination spin level four with a 1.05 GOE, so good quality. Serpentine step sequence level three, so that's pretty high. And here's the twizzles. Level three for Emily Rose, level four for James. Stationary lift, level three, missing one feature off that to get the four. Oh, nice job. Well, once again, season's best, 77.04. We'll see how much they beat that score with here. Definitely their strongest performance of the year in the free dance, I would think. Well, here we go. Free dance scores for Emily Rose and James. Season's best, 84.65. Look at the surprise on their face that it's that high. What a great job. That's first in the free dance so far. Total competition score 141.75. That puts Emily Rose and James currently in the first place. Next to skate, representing the United States of America, Ona Brown Gage. Well, Brown. Ona, 15 years old, Gage is 17. She was born in Greenport, New York. He in Bayshore. 91.34 personal best in the free dancer, 15th after the rhythm dance. They're skating to Bloodstream, performed by Tokyo Myers and Air by Bach.
Well, eight elements, six of those in the high ones for the GOE. So quality recognized as performed. And some very nice levels as well. 91.34, their personal best this season. They should come pretty close to that here at the Junior World Championships. Good solid performance overall. They look pretty happy coming off the ice. And so quick in the pickups of the lifts. It's quite remarkable when you see, we might see some of those entrances so solid. Let's take a look at some of the elements in the free dance. Body moves always so risky. Here's the entrance into the combination spin, unique and different and beautiful in motion. Look at that pickup right up over the shoulder, right out of the thigh, one foot. Spectacular, straight line lift level four. Curve lift, look at the lean on Gage's part. Level four, all oh, plus GOEs. And there's the choreographic spin right at the end. Nice. The scores, please. Una Brown, Gage Brown, America Hendrick. Season's best, 92.55. Got to be happy with that. Finishing the season on a high. That's first with the free dance. Let's take a look at the overall score for the competition. And that is 152.05. Ona and Gage take over first. On the ice, representing France, Luteron, Luteron. Louis 17, no, 19, coached and choreographed by Karen Nars. 15th after the rhythm dance. 86.47, their personal best.
Wow. Edgy, intense, aggressive. That was the approach for sure. 86.47 uh, is their season's best in this program. We'll see if they come close to that. Some of the elements had a nice GOE. Others were right in the middle of the ones or of the uh, low the ones for the quality of some of the elements. But they have an edgy approach to their programs, which is different from most other teams. And that's what you want to be. It's just a little bit different. You want to be unique, your own style. And they are. Beautiful back camel. And there's a... Stationary lift in at level three, missing one feature on that. There's the pickup on straight line lift. It's a change of positions that goes in. Certainly at the level four with a plus GOE of 0.72. The twizzles, level four for Lou and level three for Noah. The choreographic lift right at the end. Well, they're looking for an 86.47. That's their season's best, hoping to get close to that. Take over first, they would need a 96.62. But just to climb into third, they'll need a 79.15. We'll see where they land amongst those numbers. Well, we got the mic turned up really well. The kiss and cry, we can hear a conversation. The scores, please. Here we go. Free dance scores. Lou and no from France. 81.84. It's a little shy of their season's best. That's third of the free program. And total competition score of 137.28. So they'll take over the third position overall so far in this competition. There's a look at your top five teams to this point. Next to skate representing Japan, Utana Yoshida. Utana, 16 years old. Shingo is 18. They're coached by Andrew Hallam, Tracy Wilson, Joy Russell. 13th after the rhythm dance. 99.21, earning that score. Nice score at the Winter Youth Olympic Games just about a month ago in Lausanne, Switzerland. They're skating here at the World Championships to Don Quixote.
Well, this team is a lot of fun to watch, improving every time out. Pretty new team. A very solid uh, individual skating skills. You can see that. They're starting to mold as a team very, very nicely indeed. Bright future for Japanese ice dancing with this team, among others. But they have also their own unique look and feel and style, which makes them special. All the details, of course, that will be scrutinized heavily by the technical panel and by the judges, and that will result, result in a score. But overall, when you take a look at them from an audience perspective, fun to watch, good skating skills. Thank you. How did it feel? Okay. She's just 15 years old. He's 18. Let's take a look at some of the elements. Those twizzles, look how close they were. Amazing. Good synchronization. It's a level four for Yutana and level three for Shingo. But a 2.18 plus GOE, so great quality score given on that element. Here's a pickup for the rotational lift. That's a level four with a plus 0.72. The curve lift here, a little bit later in the program, level four also with a 0.72 GOE. <laughs> Andrew Hallam on the left, Joey Russell on the right. There's Joey, great choreographer not only in Canada, but for other international <laughs> skaters as well around the world. <laughs> Former world team member for Canada. <laughs> From Newfoundland, proud Newfoundland okay. young man. This course, please. Well, 93.56, that's first in the free dance. They're happy with that for sure. And the total competition score? 149.61, and that puts them overall for the moment into second place. And there's a look at your top five so far. Up next, Ukraine. Representing Ukraine, Maria Golubtsova, Maria Kirill Bilobrov. And Kirill, 19 years old. She's from Odessa. He from Kiev. Coached by Maria Chaika. 89.99 personal best in the free dance. They're skating to the Swan and Dance Macabre by Saint-Saëns.
Maria Golotova, Kirill Bilabrov from Ukraine. Well, 89.99 season's best. Not sure that they'll make that here at the Junior Worlds. Certainly a beautiful program. Perhaps just a little bit more speed and ice coverage will greatly help some of those nice moves. Some of them, well, they've got out of the eight elements, two of them in the plus one range for the GOE, for the quality. The rest are in your 70s and 80s or 0 0.7, 0 0.8 area. It really kind of indicates the stage of development from a quality perspective of where they're at. Let's take a look at some of those elements in the free dance. And the entrance to the Twizzles, good speed coming in. A little out of sync on the first set. A level four for Maria, a level three for Kirill. There's a pickup on the stationary lift that is in at level four with a 0.85 plus GOE. Well, interesting, really nice position on that spin. Well, again, they're looking to try to get close to their season's best of 89.99. They would need an 85.78 to climb into the top three. This course, please. And here we go. Maria Kolopsova, Kirill Belobrov, Free dance scores. Eighty one point nine zero. That's fourth in the free dance. That's a little less than they wanted, about eight points off their personal best. Total competition score, 137.88, and that will put Maria and Kirill currently in the fourth place overall after the first two groups. Well, here's a look at the standings so far after two groups. Ona and Gage Brown, 152.05. Utana and Shingo, 149.61. Emily Rose and James from Great Britain, 141.75. And that's your top three so far. The look at the rest of the field. Oh, we'll take a short break for the ice resurfacing and back with the final two groups in the free dance. You're watching live coverage of the 2020 ISU World Junior Figure Skating Championships. I'm your host, host Ted Barton. We'll be back in just a few moments. Stay with us.
Next to skate, representing the United States of America, Ona Brown, Gage Brown. Shotgun underneath the heart 
The following couples may now take the ice for their warm-up. From Canada, Natalie D'Alessandro, Bruce Waddle. From Canada, Miku Makita, Tyler Gunara. Well, group number three on the ice for their warm-up. There's From a look the at the start States order. America, well, three Canadian teams Jeffrey in this group. From Canada, I mentioned Amy Ponsa, Aysa Boiragian. Earlier in the broadcast, the depth in From junior France, dance, outstanding. This is not the final four teams or five teams. This is the group before that, and they are excellent as well, all of these teams. Well, we had a couple answers sent in for our questions that we set out yesterday during the events. And one of the questions I asked the people was, what are they expecting from Worlds? 
and one road in sleepless nights. It's a great city there for sure. When the events are done, there's lots of wonderful restaurants and clubs to go to. A city full of life, full of energy. Anybody going to the World Championships in Montreal will really enjoy that experience. And some of the junior skaters that were mentioned in regard to that dinner question, which skaters would you like to have dinner with? And it was really a reference to over a long period of time, over many generations. But uh, Maya Komek, Katarina Kurakova, I think that would be an interesting dinner. What a young lady full of energy and and uh, a love and passion for skating. Heian Lee of Korea, Alisa Liu of the United States, and Alexander Salevko of Estonia. And some of the other names for the seniors, somebody had sent in Sonia Henny. Well, that would be a, a wonderful dinner. Scott Hamilton, how entertaining would that be? Not just from a competitive perspective, but what that young man has done in his show career, entertaining hundreds of thousands of people through his lifetime, over his lifetime. Evgeny Plushenko, of course, Sasha Cohen, Yuna Kim, and the list goes on. Outstanding athletes, but perhaps even more unique personalities. So look at Pascal Denis, part of the Mary Font de Bray and Patrice Lausanne coaching team in Montreal. He's also a great uh, synchronized coach as well. He'll be attending the Junior World Synchronized Championships as well as the World. Well, get ready for some outstanding ice dance over the next hour or so. Such little difference between all of these teams. Any major mistake is a real problem. Don't often see big mistakes in the ice dance. They're just little ones that are hard to catch for anyone. I mean, just the judges, the technical panel have that keen eye and the coaches. People like myself that know skating pretty well may not know all the little details in the dance that others would see. Couples, your warm up has ended. Please leave the ice. There's a look at the, some of the fans from Canada. Some of the parents of the skaters about to perform. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Canada. Natalie D'Alessandro, Bruce Wagner. Natalie, 15 years old, Bruce is 18, both born in Toronto. Ninth after the rhythm dance, they're coached by Andrew Hallam, choreographed by Roman Hagenauer. 95.73, the personal best at the Youth Winter Olympic Games a month ago. They're skating, they're free dance here at the Junior Worlds to all do anything for love, but I won't do that.
Well, what a great performance by Natalie and Bruce. Such good individual skaters themselves. They're so light on their feet. And interestingly enough, they're a similar height, but you don't feel that's a deterrent at all. They just move so beautifully together. And it was truly a dance. And by that, I mean you just didn't think of, I'm watching a free dance and I'm looking for technical elements. It was from top to bottom, just all connected and performed, entertaining. They showed as much passion in their movement as the voice did in the words. Really nice job. Their season's best, 90, uh, 95, pardon me, uh, 0.73. We'll see whether they can reach that or not. look at the twizzles a little jump coming in level four for natalie level four for bruce with a 1.46 goe so an 8.30 total for that one element look at the speed coming out of the corner here it's great there's the sliding move always so risky required nicely done Pick up on that curve left. Good lean by Bruce on that spread eagle. Level four point and a point eight five plus GOE. Combination spin only in level two, so they lost a couple features there. That will leave a couple points on the table. There is a one point deduction. Not sure what that's for. I'm not that skilled in ice dance. But smiles at the end. Well done. They need a 90.43 to take the lead and an over an 87.99 to step into second. We'll see what their score will be in just a moment.
really nice speed of attack. Yeah. I never want to join. No, me neither. This course, please. please. Coach is happy if they're a saint. Really nice dance. They were never worried. 90.16. That's third in the free dance so far. But a total competition score. score 151.79. And that will put them into second place overall at the moment. Close. Next to skate, representing Canada, Miko Makita, Tyler Gunara. Miko Makita, 16 years old, out of New Westminster, British Columbia. Tyler Gunara, 17, out of Vancouver. Their coach and choreographed by Aaron Lowe and Megan Wing. 91.86 personal best in the free dance. And they skate to Don't Know How to Love You. And I'll Take Care of You by Beth Hart. <laughs>
Miko Makita, Tyler Gunara from Canada. Well, 91.86, their season's best. We'll see how close they come to that. Can they top it? And this was a great skate for ending their junior season. It's a long season, two Junior Grand Prix, and uh, Youth Olympic Games, the World Junior Championships, let alone all the summer competitions. And that, maybe a little break. There's Aaron Lowe, a coach in Burnaby, BC. And a look at some of the elements. Really beautiful start right off the top to that music. Sunny day. Miko has such great extensions. Look at the free leg, turned out toes, beautiful layback position. That is a level four with a 1.37 plus GOE. There's a look at the straight line lift, level four, the plus 0.898. There's a jump into the twizzles. Level four for Miko, level four for Tyler. So that was nicely done with a 1.56 GOE, 8.40 for that element. Here's the pickup for the rotational lift. Watch the one foot turn right there. And by Tyler, level four rotational with a 0.85 GOE. see where they end up the uh, season's best 91.86 they're going to need more than 91.19 to take over the lead and a 90.934 second we'll see where they stack up right now here we go season's best 92.33 a smile from Miku that's third at the free dance and let's take a look at the overall their total competition score is 153.20. Yes, 153.20. Mika Bikita and Tyler Canero of Canada take over the lead. Come on, Aaron. He said, he's, you're third in the free dance, though. <laughs> Great job. The United States of America, Katarina Volkosin, Jeffrey Chan. Katarina 15, Jeffrey 17, they're coached by Igor Spielban and Pasquale Camerlango, 95.41, personal best, earning that at the Youth Olympic Games. They're skating to How Will I Know and Fire on Fire by Sam Smith. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, this team just continues to get stronger and stronger every time out, gaining confidence and skating skills. Pick up speed and cover the ice so effortlessly. 95.41, their personal end season's best. We'll see if they can top that here at the World Juniors. They're going to need an 88.44 to take over the lead. And... That looks definitely within their range. Of course, there's Igor Spielban and Pasquale Camerlengo reading them as they come off the ice. always mentioned one of the things that I like most about getting to cover the juniors is watching the progress throughout the year. We started on August 18th or so, followed the juniors all the way here until March 7th. So much improvement by most of these teams just in their comfort level, their confidence, their growth, their speed, their power. Beautiful curve lift. Look at the lean there by Jeffrey. And at level four, with a nice 1.11 GOE. The scores, please. Well, their season's best, 95.41. Will they top that here? No, just fall short. 94.43, that is top score in the free dance. Uh, so far, with a total competition score of 159.20, and that puts Katarina and Jeffrey currently into first place. There's a look at your top five teams so far. Next to skate, representing Canada, Emmy Bronson. From Canada, Emmy, 15. Aisa, 18. She's from Levy, Quebec. He's from Montreal. The coach by Mary France Debray, Patrice Lazan, Roman Haganauer, and Pascal Denis. Eighth after the Riven, Dan Rither Riven Dance. They're skating to David Bowie. Love 
Amy Bronsar, I from Canada. Boy, a lot of energy put out in that dance. Wow. Nice job. Eight elements. There are five reviews. But all of the elements healthily in the plus one GOE. So quality of their elements in skating is recognized. 92.98, their season's best. We'll see if they can come close to that. They're going to need a 97, over 97.23 to take the lead. Probably won't reach that high. May be able to climb into the top three. We'll see. Those scores are pretty tight at the moment. Let's take a look at some of the elements in the free dance. Great speed across the ice and rotational lift, change of position, one foot turn. or this combination spin at level four with a plus 1.13 a seven point element look hops right into the twizzles level three for emmy and level two for aisa so some points lost on that you can get all the features on the twizzles Oh, they look pretty happy with that performance. Once again, 92.898 is their season's best. And the season comes to an end here in Tallinn for them. They'll regroup, get ready for next season, new programs, and working on the next stage of development. It never seems to stop for these athletes or coaches.
Well, she's still dancing, Emmy. I guess if you're a dancer, you've got the rhythm in you all the time. And great to see Ayesa. Animated, energetic, and happy with his performance. It's a privilege to be able to do this, that's for sure, no matter where you stand in the world and skating. Such a wonderful sport. You've got to love doing it no matter what. We're just patiently waiting for their scores. The scores, please. And here they are. Freelance score 91.18 falls just a little bit short of their season's best. That's fifth of the free dance so far. Total competition score 153.16. And that puts Emmy and Ayesa currently into third place. And there's a look at your top five teams so far. Nude, Tulavadiale. Please welcome representing France, Luisa Demoget, Théo Lamarcia. Lucia, 18, Theo, 20. Six after the rhythm dance. They're coached by Karen Narse. 97.23, personal best week one on the Junior Grand Prix. Skating to music from Carmen.
Boy, what great quality of skating skills. They ride those deep edges so beautifully. Effortless acceleration throughout that program as well. All of the elements either in the low twos or the high ones for GOE. So the quality of their skating and the quality of their individual technical skills really being recognized here in this program. 97.23, their season's best. Will they top that? We will find out. They only need a 94.34 to take over the lead. And as I see the GOEs coming in, they're in the mid to high sevens. So the quality of this team is clearly in the eyes of the judging panel top so far. Let's take a look at some of those elements. I know this team was a little disappointed in the very first Junior Grand Prix this season in their homeland of France in Courchevel. They came second but they went to work and proved everything. Beautiful camel spin. Change co or the combination spin here. The level four with a 1.31 GOE. Let's whip around for that straight line lift. Level four with a 1.24. Here's a look at the entrance to the Twizzles. Level four for Locia. And level four for Theo, uh, level three, pardon me, for Theo, 1.97 GOE. Well, once again, 97.23, their seasons and personal best. They top it here at Worlds. Yes, 97.64, season's best. First of the free dance. Total competition score, 162.52. They take over the lead. Going into the final group. And there are your top five teams so far. <laughs> there it is. We'll see ya. The and Theo, 162.52. Katarina and Jeffrey for the United States, 159.20. And Miko Makita and Tyler Gunero, 153.20 from Canada. Your top three teams. Let's Five teams take to the From ice. Georgia, Kazakova, All Kirinia. very capable. Who will end up at the podium and who will rise to the top? Russia, we'll find out Shanaeva, David very Narizhne. shortly. From the United States of America, Evanly Wynn, Vadim Kolesnik. Well, Diana Davis, Gleb Smolkin, what an improvement they've made this season. They got into the Junior Grand Prix Final. They had a great skate at their Junior Nationals in Saransk. A lot of improvement made. And here they are in the final group at the World Junior Championships. Just takes time. This is a relatively new team. starting to come together. Well, Arena Ushakova and Maxim Nekrasov. So experienced, incredible energy, power, great skill.
Well, Maria Kazakova and Georgi Rivia, of course, they won the Junior Grand Prix Final in Torino. They're sitting in second, less than a point out of the gold medal position. Anything can happen. And they will skate third. And they'll have to wait and find out the final result. They're very unique, have some innovative moves, strong skaters, and now lots of experience. Elizaveta Shadineva and David Narajni, they're currently in first place at 70.03, so it's a narrow lead and any one of those top three can take the gold. Cannot make a major mistake. But these teams are so well trained, and so much experience, that probably will not happen. And come down to small details. Well, Avonlea Nguyen and Vadim Kolesnik of the United States, they will skate last. And they're currently in third place at 68.27. So they got a bit of ground to make up. Just over a point, point and a half to take the gold. They can move up to silver, we'll see. A brilliant dance team. So difficult for the the technical panel will watch very closely every detail of every team, as will the judges. There's a look at Diana Davis with the coaching team Igor Spielban, Pascuala, Camerlengo. Of course, Diana Davis is the daughter of Iteri Tutparetsi, great Russian singles coach. She'll be somewhere in that building hiding while she's watching. And she has events coming up with her skaters, so it's a day of uh, emotions and energy for her. Makita and Tyler Gunero sitting in the audience, uh, just finishing their program, watching the final yes. group, wondering, not, wondering where they will end up. They're currently in third, will end up probably well, for sure in the top 10. And here we go. Be quiet as we start the final group. The first team from Russia, Diana Davis and Gleb Smolkin. She's 17, he is 20. She was born in Las Vegas in the United States. He in St. Petersburg, coached by Igor Spielbad. Pascala, Pascali, Carmelango, 98.05, personal best. And they're skiing here at the Worlds to Always Watching You and Love is Gone by Peter Sicconti. There's so much on my mind And there's so much more I gotta do Well, I'm working through the night I just can't stop watching you I'm 
Well, a little bit of a slower number so you could hear a pin drop in the rink in the arena as they performed they've come such a long yeah, way so many improvements some C in their GOEs some eights so the quality recognized in the program component segment of course all of their elements there are eight except for one they're all in the twos or the ones so good GOE quality on the technical side as well. 98.05 is their season's end personal best. We'll see if they can get close to that. They're going to need a 96 to take over the lead. Seems certainly possible. We'll find out in just a few moments. Let's take a look at some of the elements in the free dance. What are we supposed to do after all that we've been through? Well, Diana certainly skates with much more confidence now, having been in this partnership for a while. There is nothing left to prove. No use to deny Look at that pickup right up truth. over the shoulders into the spread eagle. To keep on. Now a straight line lift in at a level four with a 1.37 GOE. Here's gone. the combination spin level four with a 1.45 so they're just racking up the points in not only the levels but the quality love as well is love is gone. It's a hard time. there's 
that pickup. That was a little bit of a difficult. That only came in at a level three. So one of the features was missed. A little bit of a difficult pickup. And the only element that was not in the ones or twos for the GOE. This course, please. Well, they're looking to top their 98.05. Yeah, and they do at 98.69, season's best. That's first of the free dance. And looking to take the lead with a total score of 165.22. And Diana Davis and Gleb Spoken take over the lead. Next to skate, representing Russia, Arina Ushakova, Maxim Arina, 17 years old, Maxim 19, coached by Alexei Gorshkov, 103.63, personal best in the free dance, their fourth after the rhythm dance. Skating for a medal here to Mil Millard, performed by Edith Piaf.
Well, this team has been uh, out for most Obama. of Seems this season. They were not right on the Junior Grand Prix recovering from surgery. So this is relatively a short season for them. They were at the Russian Junior Nationals. Had a great performance there. Their personal best in the free dance, 103.63. So the energy is there for sure after a short season, but not as much training time, of course. They were second at their junior nationals. Let's take a look at some of their elements here in the free. So quick work on changing those positions on that straight line lift. And there they are, their short season finish, but perhaps on a high, we'll see. They need over 98.26 to take the please. lead, and here are their scores. Irina Ushakova, Maxim Nikrasov, Venemaan. 102.21, that's first in the free dance. Total competition score of 169.18. They take over the lead. Three teams to come. Can they climb on the podium? We'll find out over the next 30 minutes or so. But up next, the team from Georgia, the Junior Grand Prix champions this season, Maria Kazakova, 18 years old, Gheorghe Rivia, 20, coached by Denis Samokin, 106.95, their second after the rhythm dance, and they're skating to in the end.
Well, that was so, so good. You wonder when you're going for the goal. And the pressure is on. Are you frozen with fear? Are you inspired with energy and with the possibilities? Maria and this team was inspiring and not an easy piece of music to skate to. Not everyone can do it, but they can. They completely capture the feeling, the emotion, the words, the meaning. Beautifully presented. 106.95 is their personal best in this program. Will they top that? They'll come close for sure. They are unique. There's something special. They're different, this is for sure. And also, they're really good. They're fresh and innovative. Let's watch. Twizzles four and four with a plus 2.69. Every element, high level of GOE. Well, when I watch the replays, they just want, they just make me not want to talk. Maybe I should do that more often, I don't know. Outstanding. Kind of speechless. <laughs> this horse, please. They're looking to beat their 106.95. They need 99.21 to take the lead. They have that for sure. They don't get their season's best. 106.21, that's first of the free dance. Total score for the competition, 176.19. Maria and Georgi take over the lead. There's your look at your leaderboard, your top five so far, two teams to come. The title still in doubt. Elisaveta 16, David 20. Coached by Alexander Schwinnen, 103.37, the personal best in the free dance. First after the rhythm dance. And they're skating. To River by Bishop Briggs.
will also of the highest level, no question. Will it be enough to stay on top? That is the question. 103.37 is their season and personal best. They'll need to top that for sure. They need over 106.17 to take the lead with one team to come. It's gonna be ever so close. And we will find out in just a moment. But before we do, let's take a look at some of the elements in that program. There's a pickup on the lift straight line. There's a combination of a straight line level four with rotational level four. Over 13.3 points for that element. This is really going to come down to the wire. Well, they're happy with their performance, but that's for sure. Will it be enough to stay in the lead? It comes down right now. There is one team left. The scores, please. They need a 106.17 above that to take over first. The score is 105.14. That's the season's best, but that's second in the free program. But what about the total? Competition score, 175.17. It is not enough. They drop from first to second with one team to come. Kazakova and Rivia of Georgia take over the lead. But the Americans are now. On the ice, representing the United States of America, Avonlea Wind, Vadim Kolesnik. 17 years old is Avonlea, 18, Vadim. They're coached by Igor Spielbad, third after the rhythm dance. 106.02, their personal best skating to piano concerto number two by Rachmaninoff.
Well, that was incredible. Emotional. Spectacular. Heavenly win by Dean Kolesnik from the United States of America. He brought me right into that performance. Such speed and aggressiveness and surety, security in their every move. One hundred six point zero two, their personal best. They're going to need to beat one hundred seven point nine three to take the title. Is it possible? Absolutely. Perhaps the skate of the night, but we will see. Certainly not an expert. There's lots of detail to be assessed by the judging panel and by the technical panel. It's for their assessment that will determine the champions of the world for junior ice dance. And we'll find out in just a couple moments who will take the title home. What a spectacularly beautiful and emotional performance. And the story of how they came together and the struggles that they've had just to become a team. It makes this ending perhaps that much more special. I'm not going to speak. Just watch and enjoy. Well, I think one of the unique things about this performance is that it was as emotion, emotional for this them course, as please. it was for us. And we will find out right now their fate. Season's best, 108.91. That's first in the free dance. Is it enough to win the junior world title? Yes, it is. 177.18. And they win the Junior World Ice Dance Championship. <laughs> the pictures <laughs> tell the story. <laughs> this concludes the ice dance free dance. Please stay with us for the victory ceremony. It was all brilliantly skated and brilliantly judged from my perspective. <laughs> Wow, what an event, what a moment, what a feeling. Oh my God. There you go. Well, there's the final results, Avonlea and Vadim, 177.18, Maria and Georgi, 176.19, and Elisaveta and David, 175.17. Your top three, your medalists, and there's a look at the rest of the field.
off. He want to slack off. Ain't no more booty calls. You got to jack off. Well, we'll keep the coverage running for the metal presentations coming up in just a little bit. Just as a reminder, the ladies free program. Do not miss that. That will take place 1545 local time here in Tallinn. That will be quite an event as well. Well, that will conclude my coverage of the free dance here in Tallinn. Stay tuned for the medal presentation and make sure you join us for the Ladies Free coming up 15.45 as Igor Spielband takes a selfie of the team of four and the champions of the world. For all of us here at the ISU, thank you for watching everyone. Stay tuned for the medals coming right up and the Ladies Free program. For all of us here, I'm Ted Barton. Bye for now.
Isu ilusjutamise juunioride maailma meistri võistlused 2020 auta asustamise seremoonia juuniorid jäädans. ICU World Junior Figure Skating Championships 2020 Victory Ceremony Junior Ice Dance. Kolmas koht ja bronksmedali võitjad. Third and winners of the bronze medal from Russia, Jelisaveta Shanaeva, David Narizhny. Teine koht ja hõbemedale võitjad. Second and winners of the silver medal. From Georgia, Maria Kazakova, Georgi Revia. Esimene koht ja juunioride jäätansu maailma meistrid 2020. First and World Junior Ice Dance Champions for 2020. From the United States of America, Evan Lewin, Vadim Kolesnik. Medalit annab üle ISU esindaja. The medals are awarded by Maria Lundmark, ISU representative. Lillet annab üle kultuuriminister. 
The flowers are presented by Tinis Lucas, Minister of Culture. The referee Hilary Selby and the technical controller Sean Redstad extend congratulations to the medalists. Damid ja herrad, paluntõuste püsti kuldmedali võitjate riigi hümne jaoks. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem of the champions. Damid ja herrad, need on teie medalistid. Ladies and gentlemen, these are your medalists.
ました。